Good morning. My name is Peter Rosenbaum, and I'm offering a podcast in conjunction with the December 2020 editorial in developmental medicine. The broad topic is in relation to the challenge of figuring out what works in the things that we do as clinicians providing services to kids and families. What prompted this editorial was a series of reflections that my colleagues and I have been doing in respect to a project we're working on that offers a program of interventions to parents of young children with developmental disabilities. We are offering a series of workshops, five workshops in all, and are measuring a number of outcomes that are parent reported with respect to parents' mental health, their sense of competence as parents, and so on. And what has become apparent is that we have a multifaceted intervention and a series of outcomes, all of which we believe are important. What we began to reflect on was something that may be obvious to other people, but came home to us pretty dramatically, which is that our intervention is not a discrete single uh, variable. The outcome is not a discrete single outcome. And the paradigms of our research, the classic intervention, where we do a particular thing and measure a particular outcome, simply don't work. That has led us to think about the possibility of a combined multivariable outcome where we take the results of the several measures that we're using and see whether we can find an overall pattern, particularly from before to after, and then subsequent follow-up, which we're doing at three months and six months and 12 months after the intervention. And in addition, whether we can try to ascertain some of the flavors, what we like to think of as the flavors of the outcome using qualitative interviews. Now what is clear is that this is a very different way of thinking and doing than we are used to. And in my opinion, this is both necessary and a useful reflection of the fact that our 21st century thinking is much more inclusionary and much broader in some respects than our classic RCT, where we intervene with one variable compared to another variable or to a placebo and measure a discrete outcome. And let me be perfectly clear that I have no problem with that paradigm. I think it's extremely useful as an approach to answering the right questions. What we're finding, however, is that the kinds of questions we want to answer are not as clear, as discreet, as specific, and as focused as that, and that has forced us to think differently. What is so interesting to me is that two weeks before this podcast, I consulted at some length with a young colleague exploring a program entirely different than that of developmental disability, but facing exactly the same issues a multi-pronged intervention with outcomes that are not nearly as specific and discreet as a change in blood pressure or a change in spasticity scores or whatever. And two days ago, I was part of a conference where again, these same issues came up. So my point is that many people are facing this dilemma And I think there is an opportunity for us to be creative with respect to methodology, to be creative with respect to measurement, to be creative with the way in which we try to look at the whole. And then once we have evidence that the whole, in this case, a program is making a difference to take apart the elements of the program and see whether we can identify the the individual active ingredient or ingredients. So this is quite different from building a story from the value of this and that and another intervention to try to produce a major change. This is really starting from the top, uh, in, in the top in the sense of 
the uh, intervention and the outcome, and then looking at whether we can figure out what is actually working. I hope these reflections are helpful to people. I, I would just say that the quantitative outcome measures that we're used to should almost always be complemented by qualitative outcomes, by interviews with people, focus groups, and so on, to try to get at people's experience of the intervention. Because that in itself will help us understand both the process and potentially get some insight into the outcomes that are important to the people whose lives we're trying to influence. I hope these ideas are helpful to you. I'd be interested in hearing from people if they want to uh, have further discussion about this. Thanks very much.